Overheard salesman say I wasn't gonna buy anything made sure to have manger take my sale. This reminds me of when I bought a house when I was 25. I was single and walking around a furniture store alone, fully prepared to spend five or six grand. Absolutely nobody wanted to help me. It just so happens that they had the only fridge that would fit in my kitchen, so I just walked up to a salesman and said hey you want the easiest sale ever? And just told him I was buying a specific fridge and handed him my card. They still got $1,000 of my money, but only a fraction of what I was prepared to spend. Their loss. Best story I ever heard was Janice Joplin wanting to buy a Porsche. Salesman ran the hippie chick out of the dealership. Next day she returns, snags a different salesman. I want that one. Then pulls two big bundles of cash from her purse. Back in the day, very long time ago, Acura Legends were the next big thing. I had my eye on the champagne four-door sedan. My fiancé went to buy one for me and the sales guy basically pulled the same thing. Fiancé was wearing jeans and t-shirt not his best. Was brushed off and ended up buying the car from another dealer in the next town over. Original salesman called him a couple of weeks later to let him know they had some use legends in if he was still interested, and boyfriend took great pleasure in telling him he had already bought a new one from down the road. Reminds me of the scene from Pretty Woman. You work on commission, right? Big mistake. Big. Huge. I did something similar once at a good guy's electronics. I was wearing jeans, a t-shirt and a Levi's jacket. And prepared to spend a couple of grand on car audio. Couldn't get anybody to help me. Hunted down the manager and told him what I had planned, and that now I was headed to Circuit City instead. He tried telling me he would get someone to help and I just said too late. Reminds me of when I went to Best Buy and most staff ignored the girl in the ragged jacket looking at the laptops, but one nice fella walked up and grinned and told him exactly which laptop I wanted, which was a top-of-the-line one that was very pricey because I do digital art and high-end gaming. I overheard one of the other employees mutter they never expected a good well-dressed person to buy something so pricey. When I went back for an iPod Touch I made sure to get the same guy. My partner is a builder. We went to look at cars the other day well three days ago, he has a specific car in mind. It's a lot of money. He is a genuine buyer. He was in his work clothes, clean on but clearly work clothes, I was in my dog walking clothes. I am honest to goodness not lying, the only person that approached us at the car lot was the security guard. We did not end up getting that car, or even really having a good look at it. Worked at a local lumberyard associated with True Value. When vinyl fence just started becoming a thing I had a guy come in looking for three rail fence in vinyl. We don't have it but we can order it, can I get a price and call you? Dude was wearing muck boots overalls and a hoodie. I did exactly that check pricing called him and told him what posts cost about $70 and what rails cost I think about the same $70 so, $286 section plus one post to start dude ordered about $15,000 worth of vinyl fence for his horses. Did I ever expect that? Nope did he even blink. Nope. There's a story, maybe apocryphal, that Herbert Marcus Sr., co-founder of high-end retail store Neiman Marcus in Dallas, Texas, would tell his sales clerks that if a guy comes with muck all over his clothes to treat him as well as they would a guy in a suit because more often than not the guy in the filthy clothes probably owns a ranch or an oil field. Many years ago Howard Hughes was married to an actress from Northeast Ohio. While visiting her family, he walked into an Akron jewelry store to buy her a gift. He was dressed like a slob and the sales clerk kicked him out of the store. He bought the store later that day and kicked out the clerk the next day. My dad always loved that story. Don't judge a book mom's CC luxury brand loyalty by its cover sloppily dressed new hire son. Similar thing happened to me years ago. Went into an electronics store to look at some subs. The salesman was kind of a dick and wasn't very helpful. Came back a few days later and bought them from another salesman. Told that salesman about my previous experience and he eventually told the other salesman. Next time I came in the first salesman recognized me and brought it up. 
From there forward that guy always gave me big discounts on stuff I bought from him. Worked at mattress firm and during training we would have to shop local competition to see what they were doing differently salesmanship wise. I'm fairly young looking and we were told not to wear our work clothes, but what we would normally wear. Off I go to a competitor's store, literally across the street from us. I asked all the required questions and told the salesperson I wanted to test one of the higher-end mattresses. It was like pulling teeth to get him to show me the one I already knew I liked and wanted. Moral of all these stories is to never judge a book by its cover. A friend of mine went to a dealership with his father to negotiate price. They dressed like schlubs and got a good price. The day they came to pick up the car they were dressed to the nines the dad, anyway and the salesman's jaw hit the floor. I heard John Bonham drummer for Led Zeppelin went to a Ferrari dealer and they wouldn't help him so he drove a car through the display window, then bought a car. AW you had your pretty woman moment. Fun thread. Why didn't you wait until you worked there and then sold everything to your mom and make the commission yourself? Yeah, any salesperson especially those working on commission who pretty woman's a customer does so at their own risk. Nowadays my style is more polished, but I loved seeing nasty employees' faces when I would go into a shop wearing brown sneakers, work trousers and an old but comfy top. I would try on nice clothes I was planning to wear once I became more comfortable in my body and they'd refuse to help me out. Then I'd go up to the cashier with maybe six seven items and whip out a platinum visa card. I was going through tough times with my body but seeing their faces always made me feel like Julia Roberts in Pretty Woman LOL. I love to point at employees of big software companies in California as a great example of this. That person in the ripped shorts, flip-flops, and faded t-shirt, with piercings, tattoos, and purple hair, makes six figures. Those C-suite XX with the pink hair make more money than you can even comprehend. The world has changed and some people boomers just can't handle it. I had that happen at a furniture store. Guy said we were duds. Went somewhere else and spent $5,000. A pretty woman moment love it. Big mistake. Huge. When we were dating, my ex-wife finished pharmacy school and landed her first pharmacist job. She decided she wanted a new car, so she went to the local Acura dealership. She was dressed in some old jeans and a t-shirt. None of the new car salesmen would talk to her. The used car salesman came over and proceeded to sell her a brand new Integra. The new car salesmen were pissed. Don't judge a book by its cover. People who work retail, what's the percentage commission rate you get on people's purchases? Never understood that. I currently work for the same store, different area of the country. No one I work with could imagine not helping anyone, whether they thought they could or would buy anything. I'll tell you that your story is likely one of the reasons they have that section in the onboarding program now. Having this amount of money spent on me by a parent is mind-boggling. I hope anyone with parents like this appreciates them. I went to a Chevy dealership to buy a used car with cash and couldn't get a salesperson to give me the time of day. I was there way too long. Every time a woman walked in the dudes drooled and ran. I ended up leaving and going elsewhere. That happened to my husband and father-in-law back in the day. They went to a car dealership right after my FIL got off work as a welder, so he was pretty dirty. My husband had a good job at the time but was dressed in normal, casual clothes. They start looking at the new cars. The sales guy came running out of the office, yelling across the lot, used cars are over there. FIL says, oh okay. So they get back in their car, drive across town to another dealership and buy two brand new cars. I so wish they'd had a pretty woman moment on the way home. I love it. Petty down to your souls. It happens in car dealerships too, at least according to Reddit. And those are big commissions. This story is even more funny if ARP store was like the retail store I worked at and the manager gave the sale credit to the employee anyway. Any purchase over $20 was given to the employee and the manager didn't take credit for the sale. 